Angle A is in quadrant two, and angle B is in quadrant four. If sine A equals two thirds and sine B equals negative four fifths, determine sine of the quantity A plus B and sine of the quantity A minus B. Looking at the sum of difference identities, notice how we are going to have to find the cosine function values for angle A and B, and therefore let's begin by determining the reference triangles for angle A and angle B. We know angle A terminates in the second quadrant. Let's just say this is the terminal side of angle A. And therefore, the reference angle is going to be this angle here. We'll call it A sub R. The reference triangle is this right triangle here. And because we know the sine function value is 2 thirds, we can label the opposite side positive 2 and the hypotenuse positive 3. And now we can use the Pythagorean theorem to determine the length of this leg, which because we are in the second quadrant is going to be negative. Let's go ahead and label this leg x, and then find x using the Pythagorean theorem, which gives us x squared plus two squared equals three squared. Simplifying, we have x squared plus four equals nine. Subtracting four on both sides gives us x squared equals five. And now we take the square root of both sides of the equation, which gives us x equals plus or minus the square root of five. But again, because we're in the second quadrant, we know x is negative, and therefore we label the leg negative square root five. We also know angle B is in quadrant four. Let's assume this is the terminal side of angle B in quadrant four. The reference angle is going to be this angle here, we'll call it B sub R. And the reference triangle is this right triangle here. Because the sine function value is negative four fifths, and we know the hypotenuse is always positive, we label the opposite side negative four and the hypotenuse five. We also know this leg would be negative because we're in quadrant four where y is negative. And now we need to find this leg here which we'll label x. Using the Pythagorean theorem, we have x squared plus the square of negative four equals the square of five, giving us x squared plus 16 equals 25. Subtracting 16 on both sides gives us x squared equals nine. And now we square root both sides of the equation, which gives us x equals plus or minus three. But because we are in quadrant four where x is positive, this leg is labeled positive three. Now we have all the information we need to find sine of the quantity a plus b and sine of the quantity a minus b. Using the identities, we have sine of the quantity a plus b equals sine a times cosine b plus cosine a times sine b. Let's go ahead and list out these four trick function values here below. Well, we know that sine A is two thirds. Cosine A is equal to the ratio of the adjacent side to the hypotenuse, which is negative square root of five divided by three. And then we need to find sine B is given as negative four fifths and cosine b is equal to the ratio of the adjacent side to the hypotenuse, which using this reference triangle is 3 fifths. And therefore sine of the quantity a plus b is equal to sine a, which is 2 thirds, times cosine b, which is 3 fifths, plus cosine a, which is negative square root of five, divided by three, times sine b, which is negative four fifths. Simplifying, we have six fifteenths, and then plus, a negative times a negative is positive, and therefore this is plus four square root five fifteenths. Giving us the quantity six plus four square root five, all divided by 15. And now we need to find sine of the quantity a minus b, which is equal to sine a times cosine b minus cosine
cosine A times sine B. We'll notice how this expression is the same as this expression here, except instead of a sum, we have a difference. And therefore, this difference is going to be equal to 6 fifteenths minus 4 square root 5 fifteenths, or the quantity 6 minus 4 square root 5, all divided by 15. I hope you found this helpful.